Hey guys, it's Irish again. I know in the last video I said I was going to do a, like, switching to Linux, uh, like for newbies, but I lost steam uh, with that, but maybe I'll, uh, you know, come back to it at a later date, but I did get a request probably a year ago, I'm just now starting to get to that, uh, on how to do patching with the DWM window manager. But I thought I would just do an entire series on installing DWM and configuring it uh, with the patching. So I'm just going to do this the way that I just uh, did it uh, the other night. Um, but uh, I'm going to do something different in this video. I haven't really looked at DWM really that much. So uh, you guys will get my first impressions on how to do this. So. But uh, if you don't know what DWM is, it is a dynamic window manager for the X org or for the X server. And uh, it's been around for about 10 years now. Uh, the initial release date was July 14th, so a little over 10 years old. And this is written in C. So C is a pretty old language. Uh, language also so you know having um, having a window manager written in C is probably a pretty good solid idea there is a cool philosophy to WDM that is that they don't want a config file or just a file in general this whole program anything longer than 2,000 lines of code. So out of the box you're not going to get a lot of functionality with it but I'll get to that um, uh, later in the video but uh, the developers or the maintainers of this is the suckless.org so I'm going to show you the way that I just uh, installed it the other day so you're going to go to the suckless.org uh, main site and then you're going to go to source so the source will open up the git repositories so you can go to DWM here oh sorry that's D menu so DWM and then you can download it in a tar file or you can just clone the github their github repository so that's the way that we're going to do it tonight. So you're just going to open up a terminal. Uh, make sure that you do have git installed and make uh, installed because uh, you will need both of those. So git clone and then that initial um, file. So this will clone all of DWM's git repository and then we will put this in a designated folder uh, in a little bit but yeah DWM really gave me a lot of trouble because it took me a long time to figure out how to actually compile it uh, DWM uh, isn't like binary where like in i3 you change your configuration file and then you can just restart it uh, and everything will be there. You have to recompile the configuration file for DWM with its source. So that's a good and a bad thing. Um, so that's both pros and cons. So now that this is done, the next thing we're going to do is say make dash C and then tilde and we'll just call it DWM. So this is going into my home directory and we're calling it DWM. So we're doing that. So if we go to our folder browser, uh, DWM is there and then all of the corresponding uh, programs and configuration files um, that you need uh, is in there. The ones that we're gonna really focus on is the config.h and then the config.mk. Uh, the other ones you don't really need a whole lot with, so um, 
the next thing we need to do before going over to it is change a, a few things. So we're going to change directory into the uh, folder that we just created. And then because uh, this is a, we're doing it by source, we have to go in sudo vim and then config.mk. So the things that you just really need to look at in here is the uh, x11.inc and then x11lib. So the things you need to change is get rid of this middle part and then at the end here is you do x11 and then the same thing here. So all we're doing is just moving this over and then adding the x11. So anytime that you do change anything in either the .mk file or the .h file, you will have to recompile DWM. So to do that is you go sudo make clean and then install. So this will take, uh, when you do do this, make sure that you are in the file uh, folder that you have the .h file. There is a way to uh, symlink the .h file to a .dwmrc file. I could show that in another video, but uh, this was the more pure way uh, to do this. So you do that, and then it's recompiling. And then as you can see, everything is done. So the last thing we need to do is go into our xinitrc file, if you do run that. Um, so we'll just, uh, I have a uh, alias for this. <clears throat> so make sure that you just have execdwm. So I will be right back and we will be in dwm. So this is the default dwm. So if you do not have a window set like in nitrogen or in Fay, then I'm going to guess this is going to be blank or it's going to have its own specific um, wallpaper. But uh, this bar does come by default. So the three layouts that you can do is uh, these two bars here are the tiling. So if we open up uh, terminal, so it would be the mod key is the alt key, so it would be mod shift enter and then this will tile like any others so to close it out just like in um, most window managers like awesome it would be mod shift C so the next one would be floating so as you can see here and then you can change it by holding down the mod key and then changing it around and then the other one is monocle which I don't know why it's not showing up here um, but that's just you stack it's like full screen mode so uh, I do know that uh, from looking at other configs that you can have like the time date battery all that uh, but that's done in a separate uh, script. So to do that, I'll show that really fast. Um, you would just do x set root dash name and then col uh, uh, then dollar sign date close with parentheses and then that and then as you can see up here uh, you have uh, the date and the time set. So it is 9.35 Central Standard Time in 2016. So if we wanted to change that, say bat1 Let's try capitalizing it here. Uh, we'll go shell here. Okay, so 
you would just do date stuff like that and then you could do volume and stuff but in the next couple of videos I'll show you guys how to set this up and how to make it look nice so the next thing or the other thing that this does just like an awesome is instead of workspaces it has tags so you can look at uh, uh, there are key combinations where you can have one thing open here and then you can see it you can merge the two uh, but let me show you what the main configuration file looks like so if we CD back into the DWM file and then let's just view that uh, the config .h. this is the main configuration file so the next so the things that to look for uh, is border the D menu you can do the font the top bar if you want it to be on the bottom you just do zero here uh, if you open Firefox it will go to tag 9 uh, so I'll show you uh, I'll show that later but the monocle here yeah I just don't know why it's not uh, showing up right now but the 3 is the tiling the floating and then the monocle and then you can customize this as much as you want uh, if you this is just takes the, the default uh, terminal but if you want termite in there you just uh, get rid of the ST put in termite and then you can put in your customized um, keys here so for me uh, in the next couple of videos I'll be putting in my volume and my brightness controls here and then just shows you about the uh, mouse buttons so overall I it's not a bad idea uh, you do have to do a lot of patching to make this thing functional but uh, I kinda like the philosophy behind it um, and I can't wait to show you guys how to make this look uh, nice so I will call that the video right now and in the next video I'll show you guys how to patch it so that you can uh, have say you can move different uh, um, so if you have these around you can do three different uh, you can move this up and top up down here because by default you, you can't do that and then there's other patches that are pretty nice from what I've seen um, and I'll show you guys how to patch this and make it a little bit more functional. So I will see you guys in the next video.